Who would think that this A320 preparing for takeoff at Toulouse Blagnac Airport is about to do a test flight that will be a world premiere in the ongoing transformation of today's air traffic management system and will validate a highly innovative concept, initial four dimension or I4D. This flight trial is not only the first flight test performed in the framework of the CESAR program, it is also testing the first step of a key pillar of the CESAR target concept, four-dimensional trajectory management. I4D, the fourth dimension being time, is a concept which allows better synchronization between the airborne and the ground systems. Indeed, in this concept, the aircraft and air traffic control agree far in advance at target time for the aircraft to reach a merging point. And then the aircraft is allowed to fly its optimum descent profile up to that point. This concept requires a high degree of interaction between the airborne and the ground segments. All these interactions are being supported not by voice, but by data link message exchanges, like SMS. This flight is going to test initial 4D operations in the Eurocontrol Maastricht airspace and the Scandinavian airspace. While the aircraft is still in cruise phase, the controller sends, by data link to the aircraft, a proposed two-dimensional route up to the runway, including a merging point located in the vicinity of the destination airport for which a time constraint will be defined. The proposed route is loaded in the flight management system. From this route, plus wind and temperature updates, the flight management system computes time predictions for the successive waypoints of the proposed trajectory. The FMS calculates in particular a time window in which it can reach the merging point while still keeping an optimal descent profile to that point. This time window is sent to the ground systems by data link. The air traffic control center then selects within the time window the time at which it would be preferable for traffic flow optimization reasons that the aircraft reach the merging point. This time is sent to the aircraft as a target the aircraft has to comply with. Then this target time is loaded and activated in the flight management system so that the aircraft can automatically manage the flight to meet it and thus be integrated in the traffic sequence in an optimal way. On the same day, the same aircraft using the I4D data link procedure flew several descents to Copenhagen and to Stockholm. I4D is the first step in developing one of the essential pillars of the CESAR program, conciliating the increasing traffic density with the efficiency of flights. Data link uh, communication is very comfortable for the crew, it's very easy to understand and to apply. So when you receive an instruction, it's very easy to read, understand, transfer it to the uh, flight management system and let the plane fly for you. The message for the aviation community is that this is really the change coming. This is the first step which will enable to really modernize the air traffic management systems in the world. It's not only for Europe, again, it's a world premiere that uh, we do today. And uh, it's an extremely important step for our community, I believe. I-40 is a complex arrangement where the, the aircraft, the, the ground, the ANS providers, the airports, the industry need to interact, which is exactly what we do here in CESAR in this program. So with, with this initiative taken here, I will see that the first steps will be taken in real life in 2018 and then gradually evolving towards uh, full use of 4D in, in the next 10 years to come. This aircraft optimized trajectory has many benefits, obviously less fuel burn, and, of course, less emissions. But by absorbing delay in the en-route airspace before we get into terminal areas also improves the quality of air and the reduction of noise around the vicinity of the airport. 
Once proven and industrialized, I-4D will allow aircraft to plan and fly an optimized and efficient profile without any need for the controllers to provide any vectoring instruction. This will bring better predictability of the traffic flows and facilitate fuel-efficient descent operations into airports. As a result, aircraft flying in a holding pattern will be notably reduced. Today, thanks to the expertise of a number of partners working in complementary fields, I-4D has become a reality.